Hello and welcome to my January and February book haul. The reason that I didn't make a January book haul is that I got one book in January. And it's not because I've banned myself from buying books like so many other booktubers, it's that literally I can't afford books. But I thought screw it, who needs food? I prefer books. <laughs> so this is the one book I bought in January, it's Aragon by Christopher Paolini. I got it on Amazon because it was three pounds. Sorry, not sorry. Aragon is the first out of four in the Inheritance Cycle by Paolini. And I think he wrote this when he was 19, which makes me feel entirely inadequate. But yeah, high fantasy about a dragon, and um, why not? Next, I bought Common Sense by Thomas Paine. This is a great ideas video. No, it's a book, but I've made it a video already. Um, I'll put a link down there for that. I'll put a link down there for all of the books, by the way. And then I just bought A Vindication of the Rights of Woman by Mary Wollstonecraft. Um, because that comes after the Thomas Paine one in Great Ideas, you'll be seeing this next week. My friend Robin was absolutely raving about this book called Close to the Machine because um, he thought I would love it and I saw it and it just looks so pretty and feels so nice and I knew I'd really like it so I gave up and bought it and he was right, I absolutely loved it. Um, there'll be a video up on this in two days probably. This isn't the type of thing I make a video on but I got a book called Generative Art, um, a practical guide using processing. Uh, processing is a programming language for sort of visual displays um, and I want to do some more of that. So I've got a guidebook, looks really cool. I'm going to be doing lots of awesome like motion graphics and stuff. Probably none that you'll see on this channel, but you know, be happy for me in general. And finally, merely half an hour ago, I got a delivery of 12 uh, Penguin Little Black Classics. If you are around London, you must have seen the promotion that um, Penguin has been doing with these. Quotes from them are all over the tubes and they have a really nice circular website um, basically, for Penguin's 80th anniversary, they've made this set of 80 books and they each cost 80p each. And I thought, damn, that is a great deal, I'm going to get myself some of these. I thought since they're only 80p they'd be really bad quality, but actually they're quite nice. They're of a smaller form factor than anything else they produce. They've got a different ratio as well and they've got kind of a sheer cover that I know is going to get scratched up really easily. But yeah, they feel really sweet, they're all like 64 pages long, uh, it's really bite-sized and just got a load of them because I could. So the first one, the one I've been touching, uh, is Aphorisms on Love and Hate by Friedrich Nietzsche. Who doesn't love a good aphorism? Motive for attack. We attack not only to hurt a person, but to conquer him, but also perhaps simply to become aware of our own strength. That's on hate, not on love, just saying. I got Traffic by John Ruskin. The radical Victorian art critic's excoriating defence of dignity and creativity in a world obsessed by money. Sounds just up my alley. A Modest Proposal by Jonathan Swift. Look at that lovely ligature. Can you see that? The S and the T. Oh, gorgeous. Typography. Damn. I really like the satire in A Tale of a Tub that I read a while ago. Uh, so it should be quite funny. It's about how there's soul famine in Ireland and I think it's by eating children. So all good, clean fun. Caligula by Sue Tonius. I bought a couple of classic, classic things um, because I think this is sort of like a bite-sized format for them. Um, but yeah, the original biography of the murderous, crazed, incestuous Roman Emperor Caligula, who pronounced himself a god. The Tinderbox by Hans Christian Andersen. I actually was sent two of these when I only ordered one, so score. The Circles of Hell by Dante. I'm pretty sure I have Inferno up there. Yeah, I do. I think some of his descriptions are really awesome, uh, so it'd be fun to read this again. Gooseberries by Anton Chekhov. As someone told me once upon a time that I would really enjoy Chekhov, um, and I did want to read more Russian writers and I thought this would be a really good way in because I think he mainly writes plays, I don't know a lot about him, but Gooseberries is such a wonderful name for a short story, I'm sure it will be delightful. Socrates Defense by his student Plato, a bit of classical philosophy. Sinbad the Sailor, I know literally nothing about this other than the name is familiar and I feel like it's one of those old folk, well folk is probably the wrong word, but um, old tales that I would love to familiarise myself with. Also they've just made the author a uh, sword because they don't know who wrote it. Yeah, more good clean fun. Antigone by Sophocles. One of my friends wanted me to go watch the play of this recently and I couldn't, um, so now I can read it. I have I Hate and I Love by Catullus. I studied this in GCSE Latin and I thought it might be fun to go back to because those were great times. And finally, I have A Slip Under the Microscope by H.G. Wells. I'm a big fan of short, disturbing H.G. Wells stories, so I'm sure this will go down a treat. So those are my 12 Penguin Little Black Classics. Um, I want to do videos on these, but I, they're 64 pages. I don't think they deserve full, you know, four minute videos. Uh, leave a comment telling me how you would like to receive these. I was thinking of doing them in chunks of three. Maybe chunks of four. 
I didn't really think it through in splitting them up by like having three classics and then three modern classics and three fairy tales. I didn't think it through, I just bought the ones I wanted. I can always get more though. So that's an option. So this has been my January and February book haul. I'm in a bit of a random mood, so sorry if that's come through. I will see you or you will see me in a couple of days for a video on Close the Machine. Uh, but until then, au revoir.